DC Comics has introduced countless heroes over the decade, but none quite like Lobo, the intergalactic bounty hunter who crashed onto the scene in the 1990s with all the subtlety of a wrecking ball. This guy makes Wolverine and the Punisher look like they've just enrolled in charm school. Now imagine Jason Momoa as Lobo. Picture a blue-skinned, cigar-chomping alien with an attitude problem and a space motorcycle that's practically a character itself. As James Gunn reshapes the DC Universe, a live-action Lobo film seems more likely than ever. In a recent chat with Screen Rant, Momoa was asked about playing Lobo and the custom elements he'd want to bring to the character. He confirmed that Lobo's signature chain and hook are non-negotiable, but he's also toying with the idea of adding some personal touches to the design. Momoa's chances of becoming Lobo are looking more promising, especially after the, the lukewarm reception of Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, with rumors swirling about Momoa meeting with DC Studios heads James Gunn and Peter Safran, seems only a matter of time before he swaps Aquaman's trident for Lobo's chain and hook. James Gunn has been teasing Lobo on social media since 2023, and Momoa has been dropping hints about possibly taking on the role. Can you imagine Aquaman trading his underwater kingdom for outer space? It's like casting a fish out of water, literally. But that's what makes the world of entertainment so unpredictable. Lobo is the epitome of 90s comic book excess. Muscles on muscles, a voice that makes Batman sound like he's leading a meditation class, and a love for chaos that could rival the Jokers. The height of his popularity, even Superman had to team up with him. Just imagine the Man of Steel sharing a cup of space coffee with the main man. It's the ultimate cosmic odd couple. In the comics, Lobo is known as the main man. Title he gave himself because, well, he's the self-proclaimed top dog of the galaxy. He's not shy about his ego, often referring to himself in the third person, and he's built up his reputation through sheer force of will and violence. With one of DC's most formidable healing factors, Lobo can take more punishment than almost anyone else in the universe, solidifying his status as the ultimate cosmic badass. But how will Lobo fit into James Gunn's Gods and Monsters chapter of the new DCU? That's the big question on everyone's mind. As Gunn redefines the DC universe, Lobo could be the wild card that shakes things up in the most exciting way possible. Lobo, with his larger-than-life persona and chaotic style, would be a natural fit for a chapter that's all about exploring the gods and monsters of the DC Universe. His intergalactic antics and outrageous personality are perfect for a world that's diving deep into the mythological and fantastical aspects of DC lore. Lobo's inclusion could bring a dose of intergalactic chaos and irreverence that complements the new direction of the DCU. Whether he's causing mayhem or teaming up with other characters, Lobo promises to be a standout addition to this reimagined universe. Gun storytelling often blends humor with high stakes, and Lobo's irreverent style could mesh perfectly with Gun's vision, offering fans a unique blend of action and comedy. It's unlike anything else in the superhero genre. So, as James Gunn and Jason Momoa toy with the idea of bringing Lobo to life on the big screen, remember, the 90s gave us some pretty wild comic book characters. But Lobo? He's in a league of his own. If this cosmic biker joins the DCU, it's gonna be one hell of a ride. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Till I get up Time